Hi guys, welcome to my fourth video from Captain 3D. In today's video I'll be showing you how I go from a design idea to a completed part. For this example I'll be filling a gap in a window that is created by my air conditioning unit's exhaust outlet. This unit is only in place for a few months each year during the hottest part of our summer. All the programs I'll be using to design and print this object are free. To design the object I'll be using SketchUp. A link to all the programs I use will be in the description. After opening SketchUp I went to the Templates tab and selected the Architectural Design Millimeters and then selected Start using SketchUp. We need to be able to export STL files so we need to get an STL extension for SketchUp. To get this extension we click on the window menu then select Extension Warehouse. You will need to sign up but this is free. As you can see I've already signed in. In the search bar search for STL. Click on the SketchUp STL by the SketchUp team and then click on install. Click on yes when the warning comes up and the extension is automatically installed. As you can see, you can now click on the file menu and then export STL. Now it's time to design the part. I then removed the default image of a person. I then selected the rectangle tool and typed 30, 70 to make a rectangle 30mm wide and 70mm long. By typing in the values, it's easy to get the exact size you want. After zooming in to see the object better, I then use the push-pull tool and using it on the rectangle to make it 3mm thick. I then selected the rectangle tool again and created a vertical rectangle going up 100mm. If you use an existing point for the length, you only have to type in the other length to get the size you want. I then use the push-pull tool to make it 3mm thick. I then created the top rectangle that was 30mm wide and again used the push-pull tool to make it 3mm thick. I want this window gap filler to hook into the existing AC exhaust board so now I'm creating some side clamps for this piece. I made some lines to help guide where I wanted these clamps to go and then later I'll use the select tool and the delete key to remove these unwanted lines. I made one side of the clamp too short so I used the push pull tool to make it the correct size. For some reason some faces of the object had disappeared so I just drew some more rectangles to put them back. I then removed some more of the unwanted lines. When I print this object I'll be turning it on its side so I want to make some areas go up on an angle so the 3D printer is not printing in thin air. Can you notice the mistake I made while making these angles? I 
I then went and saved this object as an STL file. I then loaded Cura. Cura is a program that changed the design part we just made into G-code. G-code is the language that the 3D printer understands to tell the 3D printer how to make the object we just designed. Once Cura was loaded, I loaded the STL file I just created. And then I rotated the object 90 degrees to the way I wanted to print it. I should then have checked the layer viewer of this object, but I just exported the G-code file to a memory stick. I use a different computer for my 3D printer. My 3D printer does not have a display, so I prefer to print using a computer instead of a memory card. The program I use to control my 3D printer is Pronterface. I first load the G-code file we had just created in Cura. When the file was loaded, I pressed the connect button to activate the USB connection to my 3D printer. I then pressed the print button to get the 3D printer to start printing the object. While the print was happening I found a minor error in the print, but not bad enough to stop the print from being usable. If I checked the object with the layer viewer and cure, I would have seen the error and been able to fix it. As you can see for some reason the gap was being forced where I made the clamp to hold the object onto the existing AC exhaust out there. To find the error, I loaded the original object I had created in SketchUp and changed the view to X-Ray by clicking on the View menu, then Face Style, then X-Ray. I found that I would left some lines in the model that were confusing Cura. I removed these lines and exported the updated STL file again. This time in Cura's layer view, I can see my mistake has been fixed. The piece I printed was not big enough to fill the gap in the window, but it was about as big as my 3D printer could make. I printed the object again hoping it had joined together. Even with the second object printed, I still had a small gap in the window and the clamp was not big enough to join the two objects together. After some quick editing again in SketchUp, I created a smaller piece that had a bigger clamp to fit the other piece and also a thinner thickness so the other piece would clamp onto this part. I then exported it again as an STL file, checked it in Cura's layer viewer and finally exported the G-code onto a memory stick and printed it out on my 3D printer. The 
joiner piece printed great and joined the other two pieces perfectly. It is also now just the right size to fit the gap in my window. I have these pieces available for download on Thingiverse as Thing 2169729 if wanted or design your own. A link will be in the description. If you'd like me to do a video on using SketchUp, Cure or Pronterface then leave me a message in the comments section. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please consider supporting me on Patreon as it helps me to produce these videos. I'm not associated with or sponsored by SketchUp, Cure or Pronterface. I would like to give a special shout out to three of my biggest fans, Ben, Jared and Ella. Thanks for watching.